This is my potting soil aquarium with regular potting soil under deep river gravel. I set it up several days ago and the water is much clearer than it was before but I intend to wait several weeks. I've read that six weeks would be best before adding plants and I've also put in addition to a sponge a bag of carbon in the hang on the back filter which will hopefully remove any chemicals that might have been added to the potting soil that could be harmful to fish. This is my quarantine tank. I have four fancy female guppies here. One is yellow, one is half black, one has the beginnings of a black coloration on the tail and it has blue fins and the fourth basically a tinge of black not a true half black coloration I've already gotten at least half a dozen fry from the yellow guppy I know they came from her because the fry are bright yellow Right now they're enjoying live Daphnia magna, chasing them about the tank. And they've been in quarantine for about a week. All appear healthy at this point. But I want to keep them in quarantine for well over two weeks. A month would be ideal. be absolutely sure that they don't carry any disease to spread to my stock. All of these look quite healthy. This is the guppy tank containing only female guppies. The larger have in all likelihood been inseminated and hopefully by my prize male I'll probably soon remove some of the smaller guppies to the 120 since they are they have not been inseminated they aren't uh, they aren't likely to have been inseminated so they won't be dropping any fry where Colombian tetra might devour them and they should be quite happy in that large tank plenty of space and Colombian tetra don't seem to bother anything that they can't swallow. This is my 120 gallon tank. I have approximately 20 adult Colombian tetra in the tank at this time. There are a few smaller ones. I haven't caught many fry lately. I'm not sure if it's just not breeding season for them or why they are not as prolific as before it could be that I don't have quite as many but since all of my Colombian tetra are now in this tank I'm hoping to free up a fry tank for them when I do a water change and hopefully we'll catch fry from the substrate with a gravel vacuum since there are no live plants in this tank I'm not reticent to clean the tank thoroughly this would be a mistake in a planted tank because the detritus is good fertilizer for the plants and Jimmy No Eyes tends to stay in that corner of the tank so on a daily basis I drop some frozen mysa shrimp, adult brine shrimp, or blood worms in that area where he can find them in the gravel. 
I have noticed him catching or excuse me eating out of the base which is on the other side of the tank on a couple of occasions but I haven't seen him go to that side of the tank for some time so I make sure there's plenty of food for him that reaches the substrate on the side of the tank where he likes to remain here is my 75 gallon aquarium I have five adult true Siamese algae eaters five male fancy guppies two adult female black mollies which I purchased and four young adult female black mollies dropped by one or the other or both of the adults I purchased. There's also a South American bumblebee catfish who likes to stay in the hide right in the center. In the tank I have Anubius bear eye and java fern attached to large driftwood ornaments. Here's a closer look at the Anubias. These are doing quite well. The java fern is doing okay. And over here we have the oldest Anubius bear eye which continues to sprout new leaves and looks fine on this small driftwood decoration and my oldest java fern attached to this driftwood the dwarf Sagittaria has not done too terribly well in this mix of deep river gravel and fluorite with added root tabs. I'll probably transfer this to my potted potting soil 10 gallon once that soil is or that tank rather is ready for plants. I think this dwarf Sagittaria will do very well in that tank in the absence of jungle Vallisonera which tends to exude allelo chemicals harmful to the plant. Here is my 10 gallon bedroom tank with fancy male guppies and young black mollies. I have lace rock and deep river gravel in the tank and having done, just done a water change a few hours ago, the water is quite cloudy, but all the fish are healthy, and the young male fancy guppies are beginning to exhibit some interesting color patterns. So this is a very nice biotope for my bedroom.